Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and this is the third and final map of the Division Three Asia Fortress Grand Finals between Azura Celista and Pay Channel. I want to tell you about the previous two maps and who won those, just in case you haven't gandered those, which you definitely should because they're very, very close. And I cannot wait for this one because uh, these teams very, very evenly match and have some great players on both sides. Anyway, let's meet the teams we have in blue, Azure, appropriately. I thank them for naming, for being blue this entire time. I appreciate that. Anyway, we have Adverb and Chrono on Scouts, Dong, and Debo. As Soldiers Hagwe is Dumbo Man, Havoc is Medic. Over on Red, it is Pay Channel. OKK is Soldier along with McKee. We have Nobi as Dumbo Man. System is Medic. Uh, S is going to be Scout along with Harami. Now, Pay Channel has had a bit of uh, roster changes throughout this uh, this uh, Grand Final, so uh, it's interesting. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out. But we'll get on the Hagwe cam, who is looking very kingly with his uh, with his crown right there. And getting out to mid very fast, doing a nice work and a better rollout than we've seen him from the previous two matches, or previous two maps. Uh, so we'll see if that puts on any significant. We will have a exchange of uh, soldiers as they do bomb in. Looks like a red soldier able to survive and get out of there. Meanwhile, Dong went down. Uh, or no, sorry, McKee went down as well. Miki was scout in the last map, so that's probably going to confuse me. Anyway, Hagwe pushing forward, trying to put some damage down on system and did get quite a bit of damage there, but not able to follow up uh, as his team does go ahead and cap a mid. So we will play to first to four round wins on this King of the Hill. Them's Asia Fortress rules. And no time limit. But time, of course, ticking down on the clock as Red Uber is, po is popped. Uh... Dong are trying to pressure it there and did a good job. Bluebird popped uh, in retaliation. However, they popped significantly later. Hag would get a nice sticky to take down OKK. Okay, um, however, Dong goes down in the process and McKee, as McKee tried to get something going right there. Bluebird's going to fall back. That's Havoc um, as both both he and System stayed alive. Havoc has uh, got a pretty, is building an, uh, an Uber advantage right here that uh, Harami, is, I mean System, should have been healing the entire time, but looks like he's playing pretty passively as he's pushing his goodies, his team, those overheals and pushing them forward. Uh, that does enable them to go ahead and take mid and start the time ticking on their clock. We'll see what sort of defense they put up. It looks like they're going to be aggressive on the cliff right here as it looks like Blue is committing pretty heavily to that uh, occupation right there. Uh, could be dangerous as there's a lot of stickies coming this way and it looks like they're going to rotate around the battlements probably. Well, nope, they're going to go ahead and stick onto uh, this position. They do have this uber and going to prop that as they send themselves in. Oh, Havoc goes down right there. Uber drop. It's a nice uh, sticky trap from Nobi. Takes out that Uber challenge. Oh, and uh, it's going to be a little bit easier defense here for Pay Channel. Of course, the defense is not over yet. They have to take care of this threat of Hagui, who does go down. Um, Adverb is the only one left alive. Probably not for long as OKK, with a little bit of health advantage, is going to try to go after him. He found a soldier instead. The scout somehow turned into a soldier, and now it's going to be soldier and scout on Dong. Or an OKK, but Dong goes down. And... I want to see what happened to Chrono or no adverb right there. He does stay alive though, so we'll give him props for that. System does going to have a huge uber advantage, uh, despite that Red wants to get Havoc as much as possible, um, but not able to do any of that action yet. I'm sorry, I'm still messing up with names because of the class changes. I shouldn't be messing up on blue, but I am. Anyway. Anyway, Dong coming in there uh, does force that Uber. Debo coming in as well. He goes down. That Uber, though, is just hanging out as they really can't do anything else with it. No reason to push forward because they already have the point. I mean, they could have gone after Havoc with that Uber advantage, but uh, not a whole lot of necessity as uh, they're looking pretty good this round. So Pay Channel with less than 60 seconds left to hold on to the clock. Um, all right, well, we're going to have this pop from blue soon and they uh, pretty much they can't afford uh, too many failed uh, pushes right here as there's you know less than 60 seconds left we'll watch Debo as he tries to get in here behind the lines maybe get system but system fell back in good time with full health a lot of uh, 
heals, but he's not getting heals onto his team. That's the thing. Um, law losing three players right there as uh, both only Demo Man and Soldier are alive. System though stayed alive enough to get that Uber Pop off. Gonna come back in and try to resist this point. Havoc probably should be getting out of there. Oh man, what a missed opportunity right there. They could have followed up and got this kill. Instead, Adverb's gonna get in on system and take the medic out. Uh, goodbye, huge uber advantage for Havoc and team. Uh, why is there a heavy? Okay, why not? Oh man, a big bomb in from OKK. He does go down, but not before getting the medic. Where does that leave red? Still not on the point though. Because there's this heavy. So dog going heavy, an interesting decision right there. They know they have to hold on to this point for a while, so decide to go with that big fat, health-absorbing man. I guess he doesn't absorb health, he absorbs bullets. Bullets-absorbing man, there you go. Uh, they're gonna be at this uber disadvantage, so that's gonna make it a little bit harder, but Red, ooh, Havoc has decided to go on crit, so that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting. So once he gets that up, we're probably gonna see the pop on to Hagby, and Double Man's on crits on Viaduct is super, super lethal, and uh, played correctly, that could spell the end of this match for pay channel, even though they don't have 22 seconds left and they look pretty strong coming in here in, in this first round. Where's the positioning of a red though? That's going to be the most important part of this crits. Red Uber is coming in. I I'm guessing they're going to pop the Uber before this crits gets popped. Uh, and red right now on cliff and that uber is popped crits is popped uh, looks like it'd be a little bit after so not a great crits pop lazy probably should just held on to it uh, until after red had capped the point uh, and come back with that now uh, havoc meanwhile just trying to stay alive and put really out of position right here needs to fall back yeah they really should have waited for the crits uh, to pop now as um, a lot of red is around the point they are not going to have enough time there's only 10 seconds left for pay channel to hold on to this point they Blue right now just needs to get onto the point. There's no point waiting on this cliff uh, as they have to get into overtime right here. Oh, Dong just get right on the point but explodes. Some huge stickies and pills coming down from Hagui, who but goes down himself. Adverb not able to do it and Chrono and Adverb go down. Last chance right there for Azure but not able to make it happen. So there's another close round as we've we'll seen the entire match from... Uh, from these two teams, but uh, Patreon does succeed in uh, in holding on to the point. We'll watch Nobi as he sends some stickies over the way. Looks just so aggressive the way he's like shaking as they're going. Uh, Bump, jumping in soldiers right here putting some damage down on Havoc but he's gonna have to fall back but they know he's falling back so there is a scout waiting for him oh man McKee does take down Dong gonna try to go ahead and finish off the scout adverb is the only one left alive so really well played mid right there from Tay channel adverb does survive oh my goodness adverb does oh, he survives you know who I'm talking about uh, we're gonna watch the okay cam who is uh, hiding Right out of spawn right there. He is uh, letting all these little people pass. He wants the medic. Not able to do so though. It gets okay, K. Um, that was pretty good. Wait a minute. I messed up right there. Dong got okay, K. So Dong was just like a trigger response, taking out the soldier who was waiting literally like 30 seconds for that pick. Sorry, again, got mixed up on these classes. So, uh, so okay, K is pretty bummed about that. But it does make blue team a little bit more uh, paranoid about absolutely everything. Uh, they're going to go ahead and uh, hold back at last and build up that Uber. Uber popped for system. He was being pressured on the point, went ahead and uh, got that pop off. S is going to give uh, a little bit of the same treatment right there. Oh no, he's coming in from behind. Oh, ho, ho. Debo again protects his medic, so some nice protection skills right there. Havoc is so, so lucky. He goes back to spawn to get that health. And we'll see this Uber that they've been holding on to quite a bit. Um, but the skin of their teeth barely getting uh, will should soon be popped. Looks like a lot of jumping forces trying to pressure uh, Red as they're coming up the hill. Dong trying to get in there again, not able to do anything. As the Uber is yet to be popped, so Blue pushing onto the point without that uh, Uber. That is an Uber, right? Yes, they do have that Uber, so no pop necessary. And I'm surprised they didn't pop in and try to pressure in and get system, because they did do have that Uber advantage. Uh, to take system out altogether would be 
a, a nicer advantage, if you will. But we do have 100% own, 100%. A lot of spam coming in here um, from on to Havoc, but he has yet to pop. Okay, K goes down uh, as S as well. So those charges and those jumps from Red did not pop that Uber. Instead, Ubers popped on their own terms. Um, wait, no. So, I am good. Maybe was right there, but oh, so Hagri takes down system with some nice stickies in mid or stickies as Debo was charging or uh, was jumping on him. I'm sorry, and you know me, I'm not good with sixes, and there's so much going on right here. I, anyway, Blue still has a point. They only have a 30 seconds off the clock though, so it's gonna be very, very difficult to hold for this long. We'll see if Red decides to go crits, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, we have seen both teams utilize that crits. And I'm surprised we actually haven't seen any snipers, because we have seen both teams go sniping too. Uh, so we'll see. We do have a dong on that heavy weapons man. Again, just gonna try to sit there and uh, draw focus, draw fire, and hopefully just uh, hold on to that point for uh, his team just a little bit longer. Red is gonna go ahead and try in for this soft push. Maybe a little bit of suicides, maybe a little bit of, uh, maybe a lot of bit of suicides uh, as four go down on that play. Uh, meanwhile, system just build a net spawn. Build a net spawn. We do have S on demo man, so that's interesting. Havoc, in a really forward position right here. It's got to watch out, and I really think the sniper would be well served. Uh, for red team, but we don't see that from pay channel. Instead, we just see blue holding strong. Azura in a good position here as they're waiting for the push in from pay channel. Okay, K gets finished off right there as you try to get something going. Not able to do so. Dies a horrible death. And this heavy on offense is really interesting. Uh, we do have the Uber Pop going off, and uh, blue able to hold on to theirs significantly longer. So we do have this clash in the middle as uh, Red really, really hurt and needs those heals and falling back. Again, that heavy decision, really interesting. Not a lot of mobility. He does, uh, he does, he is able to fall back in time, uh, but we do have that heavy on the other side. He does finally get uh, targeted down, in fact, by S, the other heavy. Red is going to go ahead and push back as uh, they do have these heals. So heal advantage going for Pay Channel. Uh, Havoc, as you can see, was being pressured like crazy right there and does go down. So okay, K gaining that final kill. So we're at 44 seconds to 46 seconds right here. So another close one out of these two teams. And again, that's what you expect if you watch the other two maps. We do have S and Dong still both on heavy. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this. When sixes, you see two heavies, and before you see two snipers or something um, on Viadex. So really weird uh, choices right here. We'll see if it works out for these either team. I mean, I guess one team is going to work out for. So uh, we'll see. We're gonna watch the Harami cam as uh, just doing a lot of scouting out, trying to figure out where the opposing team is positioned, just in case. They do get a charge, but five seconds left, not gonna happen. Uh, blue team, about 90%, they just need to get onto the point right here, and they barely do, the crits comes off, but again, they need to get onto the point. Those laser beams coming out from the heavy, get on the point, there's no presence on the point. Oh, Havoc just at the last minute ran onto the point, but Pay Channel holds off and uh, gets another round win. So I like the crits decision right there. I didn't see if Hagri was up, because I think, uh, obviously, Demo Man is a much better crits target. And uh, that would enable the heavy then to just sit on the point and uh, soak up uh, tension and damage. And also get some time onto that point. Uh, as you see, Blue still running that crit, so uh, significantly higher up in that charge, but we'll see if they can get it off in time. Uh, they do know OKK was coming in from the side, so able to take him down right there. Havoc uh, with a 90%. Oh, wait, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the blue team is doing a pretty good job cleaning up. I want to get on the Hagway cam because he's bound to get this crit soon. Loading up, and here we go. The first sticky comes off, and he is able to get adverb, but nothing. Or he is able to get Nobi, uh, as Nobi just got adverb. Oh, and lost his medic from behind. Harami got a flank behind them and took out the took out Havoc before they were able to do too much damage. So a nice pick right there. Yeah, dog. I wasn't sure about that second jump, but uh, he goes down right there. Meanwhile, S System was able to get his 100% Uber up, and a nice air shot from a key takes down Hagri. So they need to un-Uber and capture that point, but uh, as McKee is just going to patrol, he has found the opposing medic as well. 
uh, not able to do anything though is Debo, uh, who's been doing a great job protecting his medic, uh, finishes off McKee. Let's see if uh, Debo can protect a little bit longer. I thought, oh, for sure Harami was going to go for that med kill right there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, spam coming down, a lot of uh, pressure around the cliff entrance, I guess, cliff ramp, I guess it would be called. Um, but Blue able to survive, continue their push out, and with about 95-96% uber, they are in a good position to hold this point for a while. Well, actually, system is about 75%, so a while means like, I don't know, 10 seconds? <laughs> oh, they have a crit! So that's what's going on. Uh, Hagby does get OKK, okay, gonna continue trying to push forward. Uh, do they know where the enemy medic is? And it looks like system is uh, far away and tucked away safe and sound uh, with that 100% uber ready to go. So that crits again, it just hasn't been used. It's been okay. It hasn't been getting the frags. It's been getting the 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 space, carving out uh, location and stuff. <laughs> location and stuff for the enemy for uh, the blue team to push forward. They can take take the point with it, but they can't get the frags. They can't sustain a hold, and that's I think what we're seeing here. Um, that's the difference. And that's why there's a 2-0 difference. Uh, Pay Channel's able to hold on to the, the point for just a little bit longer with that Uber. We'll see, though. We will see. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm just going to count it right there. Uh, S coming in with a nice pick on Havoc. Even though Blue is coming back here. System, did he have that Uber? I think I saw Sparkling right there. That would have been crazy. But, uh, okay, so just as I said, exactly opposite of what I said. <laughs> I was saying this holds weren't sustainable when you're running that crits, but uh, come back right there. Okay, well now we have another turnover of the point without any uber or any other charge again. So these teams have been just so aggressive just going back and forth forever it seems. But we are still 2-0 with Page Handle in the lead. They're also building on the point and this guy will not shut up. Still have yet to see a sniper, which surprises me. S Got a couple of nice shots on uh, Badlands, but uh, nothing yet. Nothing yet. So system on that regular, havoc on that crits. Hagui just waiting and thinking and envisioning the crits he wants to see, and oh, not able to get the sticky off on to system. And system's gonna have that 100% uber advantage, or that 100% uber will push in right now. Hagri is gonna try to hide. I love it. Look how sneaky he's being. Red team doesn't know he's here, and he's gonna set up a sticky trap, try to get this uh, uber or this combo once the uber fades. He was not able to get system, but uh, don't worry, adverb follow up and did get that kill on the medic. So buying their med a nice and crit advantage. I'm not sure what Hagrid was uh, hiding from there, but but he met his demise. Oh, okay, okay. K did not know Dong was there. Dong did not know S was there. And now another contest station on to the point. Havoc, though, meanwhile, stayed alive through all that nonsense. And that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it nonsense, because it was nonsense. Um, wait, I want the Debo cam, because he and his men are pushing up right here with this crits. I say just go. Just continue pushing. <laughs> uh, see if you can find out the medic, but uh, overhealed scout and soldier are going to make that a little bit harder to do. So uh, they're going to go ahead and wait for this push from red. We'll see if they again try to get that uber puff off before the... the we'll see if they try to get that crits pop off before the uber pop. Um, you saw it was not successful. I think it was the first round. And I said they probably should have waited for just red team to push in with the uber, cap the point, and then they should have popped the crits. Uh, we'll see if they decide to do anything different. Looks like they are going to hold on to that crits. Uh, Dawn goes down, but uh, he's just a Russian. What do you care? <laughs> but in comes the crits, and we'll see if they can't get any stickies off. Yes, they do take down system, but uh, only three up right now for Azure, and that heavy is in their way on to point. So pay channel going into overtime. So. Jury, what did do what I thought would be the better plan, but it just did not work out. So uh, I think I think the time has come to switch out of crits. It just hasn't been giving them the, the pushes that they expect or that they need. Of course, it's a little too late for that now, so they have to run crits because there's less than a minute left for Page Handle to hold on to this point. 
system will probably not have an uber ready to go before then uh, unless Chrono just keeps putting damage onto the heavy and then continues getting those heals. Um, Havoc will have this crits though in a few seconds. Uh, meanwhile, scouts are doing good good job putting time onto the point, so uh, it's forcing Red to kind of cluster up and try to get close to the point, and uh, we'll see if that factors into this crits pop. And here comes that crits pop, uh, doing a good job pressuring everybody back. System does go down. Oh, but so does the entire blue team, it looks like. Azure just not able to do anything right here. Hagui was left alive. He gets a 2k onto the point. Red still has the point, but Hagui is the only one alive with 9 health left. If he can get this point, that's going to be the round win for Azure. Is anybody left alive for a pay, pay channel? No, they can't do it. And what a comeback right there. Hagui uh, going huge with one sticky. Now, Crits was a little bit more successful. They were able to get the med immediately. And they're going to stay on it. All right. Well, Hagui definitely uh, earned some camera time with that last performance. So stick on his camera uh, as he tries to put stickies down and uh, pretty much just uh, trap down every uh, location. Okay, Kay was so close right there to taking down Havoc, who's about uh, 60 health there. He's uh, 70 on that uh, crits charge, though, so we probably will see this coming out soon. Had we gained those overheals and loading up, you know what that means. But Havoc, meanwhile, needs to get heals as he's down to... Where... Why is he taking so much damage? Where is the protection on Havoc? Uh, I think Hagui is a little too concerned with um, getting ready for this crits and putting himself in a position that he's forgetting that his medic is essential to that. Look at those stickies, though. So, really nice placement to get 2k right there. Uh, he's gonna try to redeem that and uh, get system but instead just focuses on uh, just able to get the pop he's trying to do the hiding thing again not gonna happen says s and uh, pay channel is first to cap again remember we are two to one no time limit first to four. Oh, dong with a nice rocket to anticipate where okk okay, would sit his little feet oh not able to get that air rocket air shot as the kids call it these days <laughs> Havoc, are you still on the crits? That is my question. And then my other question would be why? Yep, and question mark. I don't know, we'll see. They are gonna have this crits advantage, so they, uh, this is what you want. You want that crits, you want to uh, take it and finish off the medic before a medic can get that uber charge. Need to do it immediately though, cause system is almost at 90% right here. Uh, where is that crits? Says Hagui, they see the beam, so medic can't be far behind and take out system and then Hagui finishes off the key in mid air. Nice play, except he lost his medic and more than half of his team. Adverb, the only one left alive, not gonna be able to do anything. So wow, that crits was coming in. Rust of Red Team pinched from the uh, left, able to uh, take out Havoc. And uh, yeah, the rest of the team right there. <laughs> Except Adverb, who's still alive and who's still kicking. Let's get on the Adverb camp, because he was all alone for a bit. <laughs> we'll see what he tries to do in terms of get his team back in this. We do have equal charges, but the question is, is one of them crits? One of them is, oh, okay, so... Uh, so Havoc is finally back on that regular uber gun. Uh, we'll see if that factors into how they play any differently. They're pushing up right here, a little soft push, just sending back a lot of spam system with about 80%. It doesn't want to uh, get taken out. So he's going to fall back. So Patreon goes ahead and lets Azure take the point. Is they going to have this uber quick? So let's get on... Hmm... Oh, finally we have a sniper! Yes! Uh, but first we can on Nobi's cam, uh, see if he gets some of this uber as uh, Red try to take back the point. Oh, they have only 115 left uh, on the clock. So they could potentially uh, win two more in a row and take this uh, this map. Red uber does come in, a nice save right there on his soldier and what? <laughs> Miki goes flying right there. He's still alive though and a significant uh, amount of health left. He does take down uh, Adverb, but uh, the rest of his team has pretty much fallen back. So Miki is still alive and in behind here. We'll see. No, not able to finish off Dong. Now we'll get on the Harami cam. No, actually surprised it's Harami who's, um, who's sniper right here. S has already had success in this, uh, this match with that sniper. So we'll see how it Plays out. Sniper, of course, so deadly on uh, on Viaduct because there's lots of nice long sniper lines. 
and uh, ways to surprise the enemy, obviously. He has figured out where the medic is, so if he could get a medic drop, that would be huge. Uh, as there's less than 60 seconds left for his team on the point, we'll take down Debo in midair and nice head pick. Nice head pick. Nice headshot. Nice pick on the soldier. Uh, again, though, Havoc is about 90%. And that is the pick that you want. Otherwise, they're going to have to face an Uber coming in here. Um, and that's going to be the first Uber on Uber fight in a while. So we'll see what Paid Channel decides to play it. And uh, if they do have that Uber and Uber fight, the Harami is pretty much taken out of the fight because he's a sniper. Um, oh! Takes down Dom, though, so... That's either going to delay the push or handicap the push from Lou right here. Oh, Harami's... Barely missed the medic right there. Oh, and Uber Pop comes off before he can't get it. Here comes the Uber push. Red pops in retaliation. All they have to do is stand on the point, and this will probably go to pay channel. Oh, except uh, Hagwick is not giving up. Oh, but uh, S targets him down, realizes he's probably the biggest threat in this situation. Uh, Dong died, came back sniper. Not going to be able to do anything with that. Uh, we'll see. Harami not on sniper. All right. I thought you did a good job, <laughs> but uh, running the sniper in a bit, obviously, obviously a big risk. So we are three to one, first to four wins. So victory in sight for this pay channel team who's been playing oh so well, but so everybody's cratering <laughs> so on, on uh, the pay channel. Um, right, but Azure has played been has played oh so well too. Definitely, uh, definitely well matched, and uh, we'll see. Get on the McKee cam because he knows the med has fallen back with his scout. Uh, I'd have taken a little bit of damage right there, but fallen back to his med. So just play the waiting game of who gets the Uber. It looks like they're going to be both even and at 100%. So Havoc still on that regular medigun. And I guess they just, I guess they listen to me. Finally, jeez. But uh, they decide to abandon that crits. It just doesn't, wasn't doing the work that they needed it to do. Or they were doing the work they needed with it. Anyway, we do have these Uber exchanges here at mid. Red's gonna fall off a little bit earlier, but System gonna fall back but before he takes any damage. Um, Pay Channel decided to be aggressive after the initial fallback. Gonna push forward. Hagwe is taken down right there um, as Med and Scouts falling back for Azure. Soldier's gonna still try to get something going right here. Uh, as Blue and Scouts, yeah, deciding to do another secondary push right there, but Chrono going down. Uh, looked like Scouts were just getting those overheals from the med, and then uh, Havoc fell back. But right now, Havoc isn't healing. So even though those Ubers went off at the same time, uh, Pay Channel is going to have a nice Uber advantage. Well, a little bit of Uber advantage. We'll see. Um, but when they're in defense, when they're defending the point, it's not going to factor too much. Well, it may factor a little bit if uh, Blue keeps pushing on strongly like they are doing. Mickey trying to go for the air shot right there, but since it's spun up heavy, that it'll do it. Here is the Uber pop and popped right after the point was capped. Uh, not sure about that, but Mickey will get the Uber he needs to get in on the Havoc to force that Uber pop. So uh, even though there was a slight Uber advantage and they popped immediately, that advantage just did not do anything. So Blue able to pop immediately after, and Havoc goes down, Harami comes in from behind, these red scouts are just everywhere. Harami, uh, nice, nice pick right there, buying system, a big, and just kidding, Dong with the headshot. So Dong, uh, Dong, Dugon, gone, sniper, I don't know what I was trying to say right there. And we have OKK as NG. This is so weird and interesting, it looks like, I mean, I can understand the NG. Uh, OKK okay, and team just want to hold out for 50 more seconds on defense and they can, and they can win this, this, this map and this tournament. Ooh, OKK okay, is on Spy now. Uh, I, w I don't know which to watch, the Spy or the Sniper Cam. I'll watch the Sniper Cam for just a second then see if OKK okay, can get, can't get some, get some good positioning. We have Spy and Sniper going for Pay Channel. So they're starting to do little risky moves right now. Well, they're up three to one. They only have 60 seconds on the clock. Why not? Or you could argue, do what you've been doing well the entire time. We'll see though. Okay, okay, running to the house in an okay position. Oh, he's been spotted out. That's too bad. That is too bad. His his cloak ran off just as he was getting to the house, and uh, looked like he knew it. 
Look like Hagui knew it. Yeah, once you go spy and they figure it out, you you pretty much don't go spy again. Because <laughs> spy, you depend on that uh, element of surprise. Uh, but once they're looking for a spy, it's obviously no longer a surprise. We'll stick in the dawn camp because he did get a kill on Harami. So already the sniper decision going okay. Oh, red uber comes off. Uh, Havoc has his, so he can be ready to pop whenever he likes. It goes ahead and pops right there. He did lose Hagui, so maybe a little too late of a pop. Uh, we'll see if it comes back to bite them in the butt. Okay, K going down uh, as System stayed pretty far back in that Uber push, so he's going to be able to survive and stay alive. Um, sending forward his uh, scouts and demo man, but Blue really not giving up on this fight. Uh, Havoc didn't take a lot of damage, so they're getting these overheals. They just have to watch out. Did I see a red scout from behind? But yes. Oh. But S is going to be uh, taken down right there. So again, these, like I said, these red scouts are sometimes everywhere. You really have to keep an eye on them. Fortunately, uh, S was taken down there for Azure. Or fortunately for Azure, S was taken down. Okay, K also taken down as he tried to get in behind. Um, not really going for the point right now because they don't have any good uh, positioning. System is super, super hurt right now. Adverb knew it and he got that med pick. Super nice work from the little scout that could. Uh, in the meantime, Havoc went down too, so that just resets those Ubers. Uh, Adverb still alive. He dodges like a maniac. He's absolutely ridiculous to watch. And finally, S goes down, who is also uh, not too shabby of a dodger himself. So uh, these both teams of scouts have just been ridiculous. And uh, I'm pretty sure I would have given up against them right now. Or I would have definitely gone Pyro. Maybe Engineer. I want to see another Engineer play. I thought that was really, really interesting from OKK. But we are down to the final 30 seconds for both sides. Oh, man. It is go time right now. System has gone crit, so interesting decision right there. He is very, very hurt, so he's got to watch out for anybody coming in on him. Uh, talking about mm, people pressuring medics, uh, S comes in, does uh, quite a bit of damage on Havoc. System did go down and missed that pick. Dong takes down OKK, okay, and there's nobody up for Pay Channel to capture or to, to cause this to go into overtime. Otherwise, it's going to go 3 2. Oh, McKee coming in with a nice little fancy jump, but not able to get onto the point. We do have Harami on the point. Nobi gets sniped down and I think that's going to be the huge play of this game or this round. Dong took down Nobi, this, the demo man, right before he's able to get to the point, before he's able to get any stickies down. And I knew I should have stayed on Dong's ham. Dong is actually running sniper to mid. All right, we're watching this. We're watching this. No pressure. No pressure. Do something huge. Running sniper to mid again. So risky. Oh, but he knows where the medic is. Oh, not able to get the shot. Anticipated a little too early. System did take a lot of damage, though, and finally does go down. Chrono actually followed up on that kill, so I think uh, his uh, low health was called out. Chrono going to try to finish on, on this demo man, but no B will not die. Four health left. And despite System going down, um, they have full player advantage right now as almost a complete wipe out of Azure. Now S has gone sniper finally, which is what I was been expecting for a while right now. So we're gonna have to watch his cam. He looks like a chicken. Okay, we're not gonna watch his cam because that's <laughs> the most boring thing. Not able to get a pick on Hagri right there, and actually going down to Dong. So Dong had his number. Uh, System being pressured right now from Debo, but nobody gives him a pill to the face to so he survives. Remember, Pay Channel, the red team just needs one more round win to win the entire division, the entire season. It's all theirs. But in their way stands a very ferocious Azure team. And they're not gonna let it come easily. I'm just looking at scores real quick. There's a interesting a little bit of differentiation, but uh, Azure has not been playing uh, as badly as it seemed after uh, after Pay Channel had two really fast wins. Not fast, but two convincing wins um, to bring it to 2 0. Uber Pop comes off for Blue as they're charging in. Systems is. Oh, he's actually going to get away alive right there because it uh, turns out they didn't want to pressure him. Maybe lost opportunity for there. Um, they do have Red Soldier to contend with that is OKK. Uh, Adverb takes him out though. So uh, taking out that threat to his medic. 
Lou team with less than two minutes now. Diabo, now this is the medic follow-up that I was expecting uh, earlier, but uh, medic's going to retreat and now he's gonna have to deal with some sticky spam coming from Nobi, so he doesn't want any of that. So we're the Dong Cam again, takes out Nobi just right on cue. And has a little snarky remark to say about it, but uh, S still on that sniper. Um, and S also has overheals. Don getting some of his own overheals right now. Um, but now that this choke is known to have a sniper, Don probably won't catch any fish. And rotates, uh, or knows that uh, S is going to rotate around there. Um, and beautiful anticipation to take out that sniper. Um, Dong has really been winning these sniper fights, and I. Don't think he would sniper in any other map, but uh, regardless, he'd be doing a great job here. We do have Ubers exchanged as uh, part of that Uber is going to use to be get the soldiers behind the lines here, and both soldiers are going to fail. McKee and OKK going down, uh, obviously trying to go for a sneaky play on the medic as uh, as Havoc fell back, but uh, some nice defense. And just as I say that, uh, S goes and uh, continues on the play and finishes off Havoc right there. I'd be interested to see who's been killing the medics more, the soldiers or the scouts, because it feels like the scouts have just been doing really good jobs cleaning up and a lot of these soldier picks are kind of, I don't know, I don't know, anyway, all very, very interesting. <laughs> That's what I love about TF2. I also love headshots and I want to see another one. I mean, I don't care for my team, but just saying Dong is the only sniper right now. We have a little lull in the action as both Ubers get uh, worked up. 30 Only 30 seconds left. I'm, I'm a little surprised we're not seeing another spy move here from OKK. Instead, he's going to take about half damage, uh, get some heals though. <laughs> not uh, looks like Dong not able to, to finish up on that kill. 16 seconds left. System isn't going to have a charge. Uh, they pay channel needs to move now. They're just giving up and rolling over. It seems. Only have two minutes uh, for them on the clock. System with 80, 90%. We'll see if they can hold on this overtime. They will be able to do so, but now they have to hold on for two minutes. They do have this uh, Uber to use, which is going to be nice. Probably be able to take out Havoc in the process, but Havoc has his Uber and they're gonna pop in retaliation immediately. And uh, taking down OKK and McKee. But is there enough presence here for Azure to recapture the point and then hold on to it? Uh, or just recapture it, that's all they need to do, obviously. Havoc is behind the lines, and oh my goodness, I'm excited about this. Bring out the Ubersaw! Oh no, not able to do so. Uh, however, his scouts did uh, collapse onto the point. They will ex uh, they will succeed in taking about half time right here. This is really putting pressure on a red team. Uh, in comes Pay Channel, and he's going to be able to stop the, the point uh, capture right there. But uh, his medic is still taking damage, uh, system down about 20 health. He's very vulnerable, and uh, Hagwin knew that, or Debo knew that, took out system, and we are tied up 3 3. Whoa, who would have thought? So, this is going to be the last round. Whoever wins will take the entire thing. So, after two maps, a total of one hour, an entire division, and then however long this has lasted, it comes down to one round. Uh, so, a lot. A lot of pressure on both of these sides. Uh, we're gonna watch McKee see if he can't get a bomb in here and uh, relieve a little bit of the pressure, but instead Dong is gonna get the headshot on System, taking him out, but uh, still a lot of pressure coming in from Red Scouts on to Havoc, who is not okay. And Dong goes down immediately, taking out that, or not immediately, but a nice body shot takes him out. Uh, no threat of Sniper makes it a little bit easier for Red Team to push in here aggressively, but they're not gonna be aggressive. That's interesting. I thought for sure they'd be aggressive. But you can see their positioning is uh, not so much. System did go down, so they didn't have those overheals to really push forward. Um, the soldiers now, you see, are going to get a little bit more aggressive. Oh, and we have the uber pop on the cliffs. I didn't even know that the combo was there. But there indeed is Debo and his medic. Debo getting some good damage down, forcing System to fall back. Uh, but no kills in that exchange. Hagui came in and did finish up and got OKK. Okay, so they do have a bit of a player advantage, and by bit, I mean a lot of player advantages, as Debo now just takes down uh, Nobi. So we'll see if now Azura is going to be aggressive in their hold. But they have got to know that System survived all that, and now System is going to have the super 
we recharge. We're just gonna have a back and forth until the three minutes are up on one side, it seems, which obviously is uh, pretty much just the story of uh, King of the Hill, but neither team in these last few rounds has really had the upper hand. We do have the Uber Pop system was able to stay alive the whole time, but not able to stay connected with his soldier, maybe overextending right there, and oh yeah, system goes down, Adverb finishing off right there. Meanwhile, the rest of his team staying alive um, in, in, in a nice way, but well, except for that way. That was not very nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Havoc with 93% gets away alive. Now her army's like, oh shit. There's the entire blue team. And here's the entire blue team ready for their push, ready to take the point back after red capped it. Can't allow them to hold on for too long and get a sturdy defense going. Uh, Havoc did have to pop a nice bomb in from OKK. Puts them a little bit out of position. Lot of uh, sticky spam going down there from Hagui. He's gonna get a bit of that uber charge and try to follow up on this kill, but system is still alive. Not for a whole many points though. <laughs> Had 16 health at one point, and that's really too bad that Hagri wasn't able to finish up on that kill. But that's gonna keep it a little bit more even, and we're probably gonna have another seesaw very soon. System with a little, well, he's got a little bit of an advantage, so Havoc does have a chance of catching up to him. Of course, these bombs in by soldiers are going to take significant years off of the lives of the medic. He's like, oh god, oh god, oh god! Uh, I'm pretty sure that's bad for the heart. But, System and Havoc both staying alive. As you are putting a lot of pressure in, uh, or a lot of forward presence, uh, we'll see how they, if they decide to sustain that and hold it. It's made a little bit easier by the fact that they do have a dong on Sniper. So he's able to, uh, pressure down chokes or close Cut-off chokes, I guess, is what you call them, just by having that sniper shot over there. They do have Red Uber popped. Popped a little bit earlier, no Havoc drops! Havoc drops his Uber, and that's gonna be huge. Blue will probably not be able to defend this, but System is super, super hurt right now, and he goes down! Oh my goodness, Chrono and Debo, a nice little combined effort right there. Uh, Debo goes down, Dog is a headshot at OKK, but the point is still in possession of Blue, even with that Uber drop. A channel was not able to do anything. That is huge, huge, and that may be game right there. System will have time for mm, probably not even in Hooper. I wonder if he's gone uh, crits, and he has. And this, um, it's a desperation move. And but this is absolutely desperate. It's do or die right now for Pay Channel, who had such a, a nice commanding lead, and now have just seen it slip through their fingers as Azure has just been able to chip away and uh, get these outstandingly close victories. That system's gonna have this 100% crits real soon. Gonna pop on this demo man. Uh, we'll try to see this whole image of the crits going down. And yes, does get Havoc with the first pill. Oh, taking uh, down Chrono and Adverb as well. Uh, Hagby is still alive, but really, really hurt. He won't be able to come here to contest this as Pay Channel doing a great job putting pressure on the point. They just need to keep pressure on the point. There we go. And they will be able to capture it with a nice comeback. Dong is the only one left alive, and sometimes the sniper can go huge, but not able to do so right here. Now system's gonna have be close to another crits. Um, just the way that crits charges so fast. So a, a good counter move right there from Pay Channel, but it is not over for them yet by a long far. They have another minute and 30 left to go, and this is getting tense. If we go into double overtime, um, gonna have a heart attack. Uh, but we do have this crits ready. They're gonna go ahead and push forward into spawn. No, what happened to system? What happened to that charge? They could have done horrible, horrible things to blue team at their spawn, but somehow uh, system became disconnected and Nobi goes down, not able to do what they were going to do, uh, which was gonna completely annihilate Azure. Instead, there's a minute left and Azure is gonna have this uber advantage. Debo may even finish off system right here. He's got some nice positioning, but Debo is... Oh, takes down McKee! Debo with a huge distraction play right there, enables his team to push forward. And that's going to be the round win, the map win, and the division win for Azure Celista. What a fantastic match altogether. If you have time, definitely check out the first two maps, uh, Snakewater and Badlands. A lot of fun. Uh, thank you to whoever sends it in. I, I don't have, I, I can't pronounce the name, let's just put it that way. Uh, but thanks so much to both teams for a great season. Congrats on both seasons. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have a demo you want to see cast it, definitely hit me up at kiptf2 at gmail.com, or you can follow me at Twitter. My handle is at kiptf2. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.